I got one out. Yeah, uh, yeah, Darius. Uh, just, I guess, the game in whole, it seemed like it was honestly one of your better games of the year as a team. And I know you came up short, but you have to feel it's the type of game you have to play, get into the tournament now, but it's tournament time. You just got to just – you exactly right. You know, it's around tournament time. You just got to be more solid. You know, just stop committing, you know, for unneeded fouls at the end of the games and, um, you know, just being solid on the defensive end. And, you know, like you said, you know, this is probably one of our better games at a, as a team. Um, we just didn't close it out. And, you know, we're going to just continue getting better. We got a good game against Alabama on Saturday. So, we're going to keep it going. Do you, uh, I guess I asked another question. Do you kind of feel do you kind of feel uh, these last two games? This is the kind of team that y'all had at the beginning of this year. You can kind of see that y'all are absolutely back in a rhythm. Um, good question. Definitely, I mean, almost getting back into a rhythm. You know, X been going for you know quite a while. You know, EG stepped up and you know the leading point guard. You know, X been back a couple more games, but you know, it just it's just not an overnight thing. It's going to take time. So, like you said, you know, it's, we're almost getting back in the swing of things. You know, just, you know, just staying solid and getting back to what we were at the beginning of the year. Anything else for Darius? Anybody? Henry, go ahead. Um, huge improvements on the free throw line and uh, offensive rebounding. Uh, How does it feel to have your team uh, improve at, like, just the right time in the season? It was about that time to make, you know, different strides, you know, all season, you know, Achilles Hill probably was, you know, offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding, making free throws at the end of games in or in the middle of games. So, you know, just clicking at the right time, you know, and getting ready to make a run in these two tournaments we're about, about to have. So. Anything else for Darius? Done once. Unmute now if you have anything. All right. Thanks, Darius. Thanks, Darius. Yeah, all right. Ari's coming up if anybody has anything. Ron, you can start us off if you are here already. Yeah, Tari, uh, uh, I know it just had to be terrible at the end sitting there on that bench watching that. I mean, no, no, you can do nothing. Just talk about, I guess, how hard this team played and how well it played for basically the entire game. We played really well. Um, we played very hard, but there's no such thing as a moral victory. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? If it, it would have been great, um, it would have been great if we won. That's that's really how, how it feels, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, what we what we take away from this is that we got to, you know, finish out stronger. Um, our problem is, I think, is that not staying in the game. I think it's finishing a game. I think we, we, we need to make strides in that area and we're going to continue to. But we definitely took the step in the right direction. I guess, uh, Tari, obviously not the result you guys were looking for, but just going into tournament play, is this just an intense, you know, game against a team like this? Is this just good going forward, going into this part of the season? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good look. They're a high-level team, uh, top 25 team. So I think that we wanted to we wanted to win this game more than anything, especially just kind of, you know, what they did to us. You know, and they, and they beat us at our house. You know, so we wanted that badly, and I think that really fueled us. Um, but uh, like I said, you know, we got we got another game. <clears throat> we have another game left uh, against Alabama, and then we're in the tournament play. So we just got to trend in the right direction. Anything else for Tari? Yeah, I, I got one more. Uh, Tari, uh, what did y'all do? I mean, I mean, this team has been been almost unbeatable on its home floor. What did y'all do tonight to really hang with them? What was the difference you feel that from the last game you played them? We just didn't didn't want to lose. I think last game we took them for granted and we coasted and we lost. And this game we kind of we knew what the environment would be like. We knew what it it would be hostile. We knew all those things, but we just we just wanted this win for ourselves more than anything. I think it was just a, it's a tough one. Thanks. Anything else for Tari? Unmute now. Going once, going twice. Thank you, Tari. Thank you.
obviously uh, extremely, extremely disappointing. I'm proud of our guys. We played well. We played extremely hard. You know, we limited our turnovers. We made our free, we made our free throws. And, uh, you know, we did a really nice job on the offensive glass and the glass in, in, in particular. But we just weren't solid enough defensively down the stretch. You can't make the mistakes we made um, defensively down the stretch. You just can't do that if you're going to win big games in tough environments. But I thought we we played better. We played better against Missouri. We played better tonight. I think we're, we're making some progress towards how we need to play. We just we just weren't able to finish it off, which is extremely disappointing. I thought we deserved, deserved a little bit better tonight. Go ahead, Ron. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not trying to get you fined by the SEC, but what did the, what was the explanation to you about the Wilkinson foul? Uh, there wasn't one. They said it's his fifth foul. I didn't really ask. I just assumed he fouled. Are you telling me it wasn't a foul? Well, they they, they fouled me. It was a uh, they fouled him, and then they got possession. So they 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 jacked up the foul. I mean, they you know they they said it was a flagrant one. Oh, on the on the hook and hold. Yeah, they said, hooked and, they said he hooked and held him. So I don't, I don't, I didn't, that, that, they just told me it was a hook and hold. Okay, all right. Go ahead, Peter. Uh, Coach, the the effort was certainly there tonight, especially on the boards. Um, what was that a key emphasis going into this game? Yeah, I thought our emphasis? effort was tremendous. I thought we played extremely hard. We just got to play smarter, and we can't make the mistakes we made in the six minute game. We've got to be solid. We got to rebound the ball, and we just can't make. Can't make the mistakes that, that that we made down the stretch if we're gonna we're gonna win in tournament basketball in March. So, well, it, late in the game, like you said, they they uh, I think in the I'm looking at it now, but in in the last six minutes, what do you think contributed to the defensive uh, shortcomings on your part? Well, we had guys out there a while, and we just you got to be solid, and we tried to make home run plays and tried to. Just do some things that, that that we we hadn't done most of the game, and we're we're not uh, what we you know not what you need to do in a six minute game. We're trying to make home run plays. We just need to make singles and doubles. And and uh, going back to Ron's question about um, Milwaukee, did did you think it was a double hook and roll? It kind of, but when they showed it several times, it kind of looked like they both were locked up. Did did they tell you anything about that? No, they didn't tell me anything. I, I didn't really ask for an explanation. They weren't in the mood to talk to me tonight, so I wasn't going to ask for much of an explanation. And it, uh, you know, I'll look at it on film and we'll move forward. We got to turn the page. We play at Alabama. We play Alabama at 11 o'clock on Saturday. We're not going to, you know, we got to watch this from our, you know, watch this game pretty quick. We, you know, they know, you know, we don't have time to worry about any of that stuff that we can't, uh, we can't control. So that's not, it's not changing anything. And, um, you know, I don't really care to get an explanation on anything. It is what it is at this point. We got to move forward and get ready to play Alabama. Uh, well, I know you lost the game, but the way you've played the past two games, you have to be encouraged. Like you're seeing more things going right than, than wrong that were going wrong before. I think we're playing closer to our potential. I think we're playing closer to how we played at the beginning of the year. That's what was so disappointing. We didn't get the result tonight to kind of spring us forward, so to speak. But I thought uh, I thought we're, we're certainly um, hopefully rounding the corner and as we, as we move into March here. Go ahead, Tim. Coach, the, the help defense on, on Note, especially in the first half, what can you guys draw from that going forward? Well, we didn't want to we didn't want to let him beat us. And certainly we let, you know, Stanley Amude made some huge shots, but we wanted to do a better job on Note. We did a terrible job on him the first game and Tony made some great cuts and did what he does. So, you know, they had we had some of their other guys that had for big nights, but we wanted to make sure we we really limited no I thought we did that for a majority of the night. Anything else for coach? Unmute now. Speak your piece. Once. Thanks, guys. Thanks.